Hello, this is Nobel Chaudhary from ARM. I work as Solutions Engineer and Infrastructure Engineering team. So today we are going to see LLM inference with PyTorch on ARM demo. So let us walk through the uh, PPT uh, to just understand what this demo is and just uh, uh, jump onto the real time demo that I'm running it here today. So LLM inference with PyTorch on ARM. So here we are doing like on CPU inference and uh, this demo runs the Meta Llama 3.1 8 billion parameter model with PyTorch on ARM NeoOS based V2 CPU, which is available as Graviton 4 on Amazon Cloud. <clears throat> so this is, this is the architecture of the demo here. So here uh, the user is able to enter the input through the Streamlit front end, which is uh, running on the AWS Graviton 4. We are running the Meta Llama 3.1 on ARM based CPU as LLM backend, which will be doing the token streaming to the front end. Here we are using the PyTorch and ARM Clyde AI library, along with the OpenAI framework, which is used to make the communication between the front end and the back end for token streaming. So here we are getting the LLM response and also logging the metrics uh, that shows you the tokens per second and cost, what is like per, per dollar. Yeah, uh, this is about the Clyde AI. Clyde AI is like an ARM AI library, which brings in the performance gains for Gen AI inference on CPU. It is an open technology and it empowers developers and it brings up the ecosystem strength. So you see like for whatever the ARM hardware, the past one, the present one and the future one, Clyde is, a, is like a software framework, which brings in the performance gains for Gen AI inferencing. Uh, let's do a deep dive here, how we can integrate Clyde into your tech stack. Whatever the machine learning or AI application you're using, starting from image classification to LLM and recommendation models, which are running with PyTorch, um, either what are the framework you, you use for your application, let it be like 1DNN, ASL, OpenBLAS, etc. You can still plug in the Clyde AI, um, which is uh, getting upstreamed in PyTorch. So, uh, whenever you download PyTorch, you get the optimizations of Clyde AI into your tech stack, and that really uses the ARM in-core accelerators, which are on CPU, and this brings up the performance gains for Gen AI framework. So let us quickly jump into the demo and do some uh, real-time testing of our demo. So here, uh, we have like two windows of the demo, running the same demo. One is running the Llama 3.1 with Clyde optimizations for PyTorch on ARM, the other one is without Clyde optimization for PyTorch or now. Here we are running like 8 billion quantized in for quantized model running on R8G, AWS Graviton for instances, which are like 4x large. It's a 16 core CPU. So I'm gonna just jump in and ask a question here and other question there for this chart board and just see like how the performance are. <laughs> So I just typed uh, what is A inference here. I'm just gonna uh, copy the same and just put it here on this. So I'm just gonna send this to both the chat bots here. So you can uh, observe the relative difference in the performance. So this chat bot started bringing up the content for you, the talking about what, like, what is A inference. So here it still just waits for the content. So if you see it here, uh, it started and bring up a lot of context for you. Here, it took a long time. You can, you can identify the delay in the response. It started bringing up the tokens, but it's still slow. Here, when the, <clears throat> when the content is shown up as a response, we got some of the metrics measured for you, like the time to generate first token. It's like 0 0.83 second, which is less than a second. And the decode token generation per second, which is like 32 tokens per second, which is quite satisfactory. And uh, a massive performance supplement. Here to continue continuing the speed this fashion, it takes like about it takes about like eight dollar to generate million tokens on this CPU on AWS, and it took like about twenty eight seconds to generate all this prompt. Uh, here it, it it is taking a while to generate this. Meanwhile, we can just jump to the presentation and come back uh, and read the output in the on this slow chat bot. So here. These are the results uh, which we have seen on the real-time demo, but wanna walk through you to the uh, dedicated results. So this is the token generation rate. Uh, you see like with the default configuration, 
it's about like two to three tokens per second. And when you use like, when you integrate like Clyde AI into your tech stack for Gen AI, you can see a massive performance upliftment between 35 to 40 tokens per second, which is quite impressive. At the same time, for the time to generate first token phase, here it's about up to 10 seconds uh, by default to about like less than a second to about like 0.5 seconds. So with Clyde AI integrations. So the conclusion. So here we are quantizing the model using the int for quantization, which brings up the accuracy scores uh, marginally lower than the model's uh, original accuracy. And we are using Clyde AI, which brings in like the massive performance gains and ecosystem strength. And this shows like we're doing like energy efficient AI on ARM. So this shows that AI inference on ARM CPU supports a wide variety of frameworks and delivers cost efficient and energy efficient and secure real-time performance. So let us jump to the demo and watch what the output of our bot is. So here it's still uh, getting the stuff for you. It is taking longer than expected, but here it just got the, your stuff. So this is how it's going on. So. This, these are some of the developer resources. So to know more about this demo, I can just scan this and read more about this demo. And to replicate this demo and do it on your ARM-based server, so I scan this um, QR and follow the learning path and just replicate this on your environment. And if you want to experience a similar chatbot on learn.arm.com, you can just scan this QR and do some chatbot, uh, <clears throat> chatbot tests and uh, do some exercise with the chatbot on our learn.arm.com. And if you want to join uh, the developer arm.com developer program, you can just scan this QR and um, join the community to build the future on ARM.